Tiger has new angel. British TV personality Jodie Kidd is the latest in a long and ever-expanding line of women who've allegedly enjoyed some hot Belagian love from Tiger Woods. There have been rumors that one of Tiger's as yet unidentified mistresses was British TV presenter, and now London Daily Mail claims it's Jodie. Jodie admits she met Tiger twice, but denies any romantic involvement whatsoever. She says, quote, I'm aware of the rumors going around about a British TV personality, but I can assure you it's not me. Yes, I have met Tiger on two occasions. They were both golf related and seemed very pleasant, but we probably exchanged about three words. Raider Online says there's yet another mistress out there waiting to get identified and her main goal in life was to try to get impregnated by Tiger. A so-called source says this chick lied to Tiger about being on the pill and would try to arrange to see him when she was ovulating. The source adds, quote, she thought she'd be set for life financially if she could have Tiger's baby. The Florida Department of Children and Families sent someone to Tiger Woods home on Friday for what they're calling a, quote, well-being check. The department apparently really received some kind of complaint, but they wouldn't say what it was about or who it was from. There's no word on the outcome of the visit. Tiger issued another statement on Friday. This time, he admitted to infidelity, but didn't go into any detail and announced that he's taking an indefinite break from golf. He said, and I quote, I am deeply aware of this disappointment and hurt of that my infidelity has caused so many people, most of all my wife and children. I want to say again, to everyone that I'm profoundly sorry and then I ask forgiveness. It may not be possible to repair the damage I've done, but I want to do my best to try. He added, and I quote, after much soul searching, I've decided to take an indefinite break from professional golf. I need to focus on my attention on being a better husband, father, and person. The View has apologized to Tiger Woods' number one mistress, Rachel Uchitel, for Joey Behar's joke last week, but it wasn't good enough for Rachel. Joy dropped the now classic rim shot, which should tell she's a hooker. The show issued a statement apologizing for Joy's choice of words, but Rachel wants more. Specifically, she wants to hear an on-air apology. Um, she definitely has a point. For the apology to equal the offset, the offense, it really should be heard under the same circumstances. Did Lindsay Lohan lie about rescuing children in India? Lindsay Lowen spent some time in India over the past week shooting a BBC documentary on child labor, and now she's being accused about lying about rescuing kids in sweatshops. Over the weekend, Lindsay tweeted, quote, Over 40 children saved so far, within one day's work. This is what life is about. Doing this is a life worth living. She added, quote, Focusing on celebrities and lies is so disconcerting when we can be changing the world one child at a time. Hope everyone can see that. But she ended up deleting the first part of that post after a social activist in India accused her of taking credit for rescuing those 40 kids, even though she wasn't involved in the rescue at all. The children were freed from a workshop in New Delhi on Tuesday after having been sold into labor. Some social activist, who gets only by the name Boo Wan, says that neither Lindsay nor the BBC were even in the country. The raid took place hours before they even landed in India. The BBC has responded to the criticism by pointing out that Lindsay never actually said she assisted in, or was even present at, the raid. She was merely referring to a raid that happened connected to child trafficking, the subject of the program. And you gotta love Photoshop. Tara Reid poses nude in the upcoming issue of Playboy, and it may not be the frightening disaster some people are predicting thanks to the magic of Photoshop, probably. And Chris Brown is not happy with Walmart. It has come to Chris Brown's attention that some retailers are not stocking his new disc graffiti, which came out last Tuesday, and he's not happy about it. On Friday, Chris blew off some steam on a rant on Twitter. I'm tired of this crap. Major stories are blackballing, m major stores are blackballing my CD, not stocking the shelves and lying to co 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 costumers. What the F do I gotta do? WTF, yeah, I said it, and I ain't retracting crap. I'm not biting my tongue about crap. The industry can kiss my ass. Then, on Saturday night, he added a few messages after he personally went to Walmart in Connecticut and couldn't find his album anywhere. He said, and I quote, Just as just was at Walmart in Wallingford, Connecticut. They didn't even have my album in the back, on shelves, saw for myself. We talked to the managers, and they didn't even know anything. Wow. 
Walmart hasn't officially commented on this and neither has any other retail that is allegedly blackballing Chris. I don't want to side with Walmart on, on, on their practice of um, arbitrarily, arbit, arbitrarily censoring some of the products they carry, but Chris has no one to blame here except himself. Does he really think that just because he apologized and really, really meant his apology about whatever it is, about what happened, something that major just doesn't go away that easily.